Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here. We're gonna do a quick reading in terms of, well, we're gonna see how your person feels about you, how you feel about them, what's going on for you in love right now, okay? So the energy could change, you know, people change, but right now this is the energy. So um, if you feel like you need to know how this person feels about you right now, um, stay tuned, all right? So thank you for being here. All right, let's get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So Aquarius, uh, how your person feels about you is uh, the Three of Swords. So they feel like it's a breakdown in communication. Like you guys, there's no effective communication. They, you can't talk it out may even feel like you guys need mediation. This person could have cried over you, shed tears over you. You wouldn't know it, you know, because this, this could be something that they do all alone. And they, they put on this big front that they don't care, that they didn't care, or that they had no real emotions for you. Um, they may have played a lot of games with you. There also could have been a third party. You could be the third party, could have been another third party, I don't know. But like somebody start to come into the relationship and stir, stir the pot, stir up trouble. Therefore, it it caused you know it caused for you and your person to be on the outs, have a breakdown. Um, your person feels heartbroken, uh, isolated, alienated from you. Um, your person could also be suffering you know loss in terms of. Um, you know, it's, uh, so loss of life, it could, they could also be dealing with that. But they're also going to be suffering loss of monetary, you know, things, money, assets. And it could be due to the fact that they have to divorce or they have to separate from something. Um, how your person feels about you, Aquarius, is just that um, there's no going back. They're extremely grief stricken about this relationship. When you guys did communicate with one another, it wasn't anything that was of value, okay? Like, it it didn't cause for you guys to, to come to a resolution or conclusion. It just was maybe shouting, screaming. So your person just feels hurt, divided um, from you. Again, isolation or alienated from you, your life. You feel like either there's little to no communication and, and the little communication that you do have, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't get anywhere, they just don't know. This person feels like there's no opportunity for you guys to recreate or rebuild or reestablish. For whatever reason, and you may have your reasons Aquarius, Aquarius, how you feel about this person is the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So you feel like, um, you know, immediately what I was hearing is like, you feel like this person is just piss poor morally. Like their valuation system, how they value things is just off. You feel like they didn't see the value in you also. They tried to use you, but you were strong in your self-worth and therefore maybe you left the connection with the Queen of Swords coming up here. Um, you made the distinction, the choice to leave, to not stay involved in this. It wasn't to your highest good. It wasn't bringing you any value. It, it possibly was bringing you down. You also came to a determination that you wanted something new, or you wanted a, a new life, or you go to the next level here, and you just knew it wasn't gonna happen with this person. How you feel about this person is you feel like um, that every time you leave them, because it seems like this has happened before they go into a place of um, depression or, um, you know, f feeling um, neglected, neglected and ignored by you. And they go into this deep, dark depression and it kind of pulls on your energy. They try to pull you back in. 
but they you are their drug you are their fix you are their pick me up they want you back they want your energy back because you know it could be an energy va vampire you feel like this person is um yeah, there's lack of confidence here in terms of this relationship turning over or moving forward. Uh, you feel like your person keeps a lot of different energies around them or they keep up a lot of chaos because, again, piss poor morally, uh, low self-esteem. Um, you, just, you just feel like they wear this mask, but you see through them, especially with the Queen of Swords coming out. They like the drama you know they like they like all of that because it feeds you know that low vibrational energy that they're in that you know instability in that um chaotic nature and when you extract yourself from it when you leave this person goes into that energy that's how you feel about them you feel you feel like you got to just go away and heal with all this blue here heal your mental too i feel like some of you feel like more than you need to heal your emotional state you need to heal your mental because this person tried to play mental games with you because they knew that you were a very cerebral, very um, thought-based type of person, individual here. So um, they try, they play games. They try to play mental games with you. Uh, they try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, um, do that mental agility with the Aquarius, which is interesting because it's going to be hard to win that. Because this person, especially the Queen of Swords, she's always on guard. Um, you feel like this person needs help, you know, um, help that you can't provide, you know. And it, it may be more of a spiritual help. They need spirituality in their life. They need guidance. The energy between the two of you is um, grief work. Okay. Um, so the both of you need to heal maybe heal your mental they need to heal their heart and their emotions maybe even their mentality and, and also um, but it seems like this card talks about with every subsequent loss there's compounded grief so it's like again like this has happened between the two of you before and with each loss with each separation and then coming back together separation and then coming back together it is just compounded and I think Aquarius has gotten to a place of where they say, you know, no more. I just can't take anymore. I don't want to take anymore. I want newness. And the Queen of Swords gets very real, gets very um, truthful about, you know, her involvement and the other person. She's the executive in her life. She think of the executive in a high level executive in a corporation. If anything happens in terms of, you know, uh, where it affects the whole the ex the high level executive has to take responsibility for it has to go forward make a speech to the public if if you know if it goes that far they have to take responsibility so it's, it seems uh, aquarius that you're being the executive in this situation saying you know i'm just going to take responsibility for this relationship what part i played in it what part they played i, I just can't um rest in this energy anymore i have to be the executive take responsibility make the necessary changes and move forward that's what an executive would do um also you're resting a lot on your spirituality creating um you know a comfortable place for you to practice your spirituality more and more uh, getting comfortable in it let's see let's see aquarius um what this person wants to tell you what does this person want to tell you aquarius what does this person want to tell the aquarius this also talks about giving a eulogy so i don't know there could have been a death it was more so on your person's side, I don't know. But it's the energy between the two of you, so your person could have suffered like an actual loss of life. Um, so let's see. What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Wow. 
Um, they want to tell you the Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. Um, phew, those are big cards. Um, they want to tell you that they feel like this relationship is destiny or is destined to be. You guys are destined to be together. They're waiting for the perfect time to come back to you, to renew, to restore. Um, they want to tell you that... Um, that they've changed or there has been change or there's something that changed about them and we'll we'll clarify that um they, they want fortunate change with you and they also want to tell you that with you leaving them or them leaving you or you just being out of their life out of their energy out of their sphere that the change has happened maybe that you know the, the change the 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 bad change you know um things have reversed or reverted for them here um with the high priestess here they want to tell you that they feel like you are their divine feminine okay um they want to tell you that um you are above every other woman okay you are above every other woman in their life um they want to tell you that they feel like you are dynamic they want to tell you that, um, you know, you are the pamper princess, okay? Um, they want to tell you that they think you're special and people treat you like you are also. Um, they're craving to have you, but they can't have you. They want to tell you that, maybe you know, they, they don't want to make you any promises because it seems as if, they're just not at a place where um, they want to mess up with you again. They want to tell you that, um, you know, they, they know that you hold back your emotions and that maybe that they do also. Um, they want to tell you that they understand that you guys are opposites, but you they're very attracted to you. You, you have two very different personalities, okay? Um, they were going to tell you that they feel like you are out of their league or you, you just, there's a lot of death within you. There's a lot of layers to you, Aquarius, that maybe you are at this point, they feel like you are unapproachable, unattainable, you know, um, that they have difficulty loving anybody. OK, and they they're having problems understanding love and romance and showing up for you. Um, they want to tell you that maybe they feel like you, you just want to be left alone or by yourself. They can only, you know, interpret what you're, you know, how they feel about you or what you're thinking by way of your actions, especially with you coming up as the queen of swords. Um, they want to tell you that there's a lot of mystery about you. Okay. Um, that maybe they have a hidden agenda, a motive. It could be good. They want to tell you that they feel like you're their soulmate and they want to come back to you and they feel like destiny will bring them back to you. They feel like the outcome between the two of you is unknown. Um... They want to tell you that they feel like you're choosing singlehood. You would rather choose singlehood than deal with them. Um, they feel like you're a very elegant and sophisticated woman. They have this compelling attraction to you. They, they, they can't understand it. Okay. But it's there. Again, they feel like you're a threat to most women, to all of the women. And, and uh, if other women in their life know about you, then they're bothered by your sex appeal. You're sexy by nature. They feel like you 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 um, stimulate them intellectually. OK, you are their fantasy woman. This is the you're the person they dream about or think about when they are, you know, doing what they do and playing with themselves and carrying on. They feel like with you, there is. Or there has been or there will be if you've never had sex with this person. They feel like there is mind-blowing sex between the two of you. Um, 
they just feel like um, you have the power in this relationship. You, <laughs> they feel like you have just taken over them and their mental and their emotions. Um, yeah, they feel like you've blocked them. You've blocked them out, okay? Um, that a decision is up in the air. Um, that there will be reconciliation, but you guys have to have a plan. You have to talk it out. You have to be willing to cooperate and negotiate here. They feel like you, you're making some test for them or you walking away as a test and they want to pass the test. And if they pass the test, then they'll, you know, you guys will be back together. You feel like you're very wise. They do feel like you're very wise. They feel like there is, this is a karmic connection, but it seems like they feel like it's one that they want to be in. Like there's a spiritual connection, like you are their soulmate. You are their divine feminine. They feel like you're very self-sufficient and you rely on you. And, and that's, um, that's intimidating to them at times. They feel like you're not declaring your true feelings for one reason, and they're definitely not going to declare theirs right now. Let's see how you feel about this person, Aquarius. How does Aquarius feel about this person that they came to the reading for? How does Aquarius feel about this person they came to the reading? Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Oh, I know. I'm listening to uh, what is this? Uh, we got Jagged Edge, he can't love you. So maybe this is what somebody's saying to you, or this is what you're saying to someone else, uh, Aquarius. So, how you feel about this person is the Nine of Pentacles, okay, and the Knight of Cups. So, you feel like you feel like this person is good all by themselves. They're very self-reliant. Um, they rely on themselves, um, that they really want to be single, that they're keeping people outside of their heart space. They don't have time for it. They don't want it. They don't want to cultivate intimacy, closeness, vulnerability. Um, you feel like they're good all alone. You feel like they, they come in, you feel like you see through them especially with the Knight of Cups here, like they, they'll say that they, you feel like this person love bombs you or they have love bombed you. Um, you feel like they have unrealistic expectations and love here. Um, you feel like this person just loves being in love, okay? They're a flirt, okay? They are attractive. Um, they go out of their way to show you love, but then um, you feel with them, they can go from lover to, you know, leaving a string of broken hearts because they're in love with being in love or a person show flaws or they just don't have a real world um expect you know expectation in love here it's unrealistic at best um you feel like they're devoted and loyal but at the same time you feel like they are um you feel like they're very flirtatious. You feel like they keep other options. You feel like they need to grow up. You feel like they're still on some quest to um, find love or find the right person or find new people. You feel like they can make, you feel like they made you fall in love with them, swept you off your feet, was acting or does act very gentleman-like or lady-like but only to kind of take those emotions and take them somewhere else and do the same thing somewhere else. You feel like they're promise, you know, they're promiscuous, uh, promiscuity. Like they just have many starts everywhere, different places and no finishes. You feel like this person is, again, you feel like to the very core of them, they're okay with being single. And this is what they, you feel like that's what they really want. Um, it's not what they say, but it's what they want. Um, you feel like at, at times this person was out of your league, okay? For some of you, um,
you feel like this person is kind of like in the process of developing their self-worth and discipline, okay? Right now, it may not be any discipline, okay? They just do what they want. Um, you feel like this person is definitely... Um, You feel like this person just doesn't want closeness here. But they sold you a bill of goods. They sold you something else. Again, they made you fall in love with them, but they really don't want the Ten of Pentacles. They don't want, you know, um, legacy. They don't want a solid foundation. They don't want a, a, the contractual agreement, which is marriage. They don't want that, okay? Um, they just... They really want to be by themselves. They feel like they have everything that they need within themselves. At times you feel like they're a liar. Okay. Um, they're just dishonest. They're dishonest because they hold back and they don't. They don't speak exactly. How they feel. So maybe you feel like they lie by omission. Dishonesty is also not saying how you feel too, you know? Um, let's see what the future holds for you and this person, Aquarius. We're gonna take this over to the extended you feel like even if this person is in a relationship, they will, they just act single. They have solitary and singular plans. They do what they want to do for themselves. They rely on themselves. They just don't have, they lack apathy, empathy. They don't have that about them in terms of, you know, wanting to bond to another person or merge with another person. what the future holds for between for this relationship or between you and this person okay. wow um Aquarius I hope that this reading gave you a bit of knowledge about how the person feels about you maybe about a recent breakup or breakdown um they if they're if cross watchers you know how the aquarius feels about you um if you want to get your own personal reading go over to the website book there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link and the extended link link will be in the description box all right uh looks like a very interesting extended reading in terms of where this relationship will end and also we'll get some advice for you in terms of what you should do about this person Aquarius so thank you many blessings to you